Today we are going to unbox and take a look at the PicoCalc handheld computer. The PicoCalc is a handheld, retro-inspired computer designed by Clockwork Pi in a calculator form factor. But this is much more than just a mere calculator. This device sports 8MB of PS RAM, that's pseudo-static RAM, which combines the advantages of both dynamic RAM and static RAM, and offers higher density and lower cost in comparison to traditional SRAM, while still providing relatively fast access speeds. So let's open the box and assemble the PicoCalc. And here is the box our PicoCalc comes in. If we get it out of the box, and we can start looking to assembling our kit. The PicoCalc does come with a book of instructions, which give you the order in which the case needs to be assembled. Now, while this unit does not come fully built, there is some assembly. There is no special tool needed to actually assemble it. There's no soldering and nothing really complicated. So let's open the case and get started. We have the back of the unit, which has our keypad. And underneath this, we can see the part where our Raspberry Pi Pico goes, the SD card, and the batteries. Now this particular unit does not ship with batteries, you have to purchase them separately, but they are quite easily obtained. So let's put this aside for the moment. And we can have a look at the front of the case. This is our rubber keyboard. And the front of the case. Now I have already fitted the two speakers into the top of the case here. And they come with little pads which you have to remove and these just stick in to the top of this case. So having mounted the speakers, we can now look to see the next stage is to mount the screen itself. So if we'll dig out the screen, which is underneath this next board. And here is our screen. Now this does have a protective layer on the front, which we'll need to remove. And we can look now to put this in place. And this is where our screen needs to go. Fits in quite nicely. So the next stage after positioning the screen is to mount the keycaps. So we'll get them in place as well. And they again fit in quite handily. And our next stage is to mount the core. So we'll put this aside and we'll get back to the other half of the board where our core is going to go. Now our instructions call for mounting the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we will put that in next, making sure that we have orientated it correctly with the little USB slot at the top. And what else we need to do? They need to come off, yes, they need to come off. Um, our Raspberry Pi Pico can now be pushed into the socket. And that's the Raspberry Pi Pico in place. So having mounted that next, our next change is to mount the main board itself. Okay. Now we need to make sure that the screen fits through this slot on the board, as that's the next stage to do. So 
there is a board mounted. Next stage is connecting the cable to this little connector here. Which we'll just push up the edge on that connector and we will slide this in place. Always find these quite fiddly to get into place. There we go. Once that's in place, we need to push down this top. And that's it securely in place. So there is our screen connected via its cable. Yep, we've checked, we've snapped that down in place, that's fine. And the SD card is next. And that's our SD card in place. That's coming together nicely now. And now we can mount the back shell. This just fits on top, and once this is in place, we'll need to dig out the screws, which are of course supplied. And the Allen key is supplied also, and we can now put each of these six screws into place. Make them loosely for the moment. We've got all six in place. And they've obviously given us extra screws just in case. Always quite convenient in case you lose one. Obviously we don't want to over tighten these, but we want to make sure they're secure. Right, okay. Fingerprints off the screen. Ah, yes, the screen protector will fit quite nicely on top. Assuming I can get my fingerprints off this screen. Right, now we've done the back shell. We now need to look for batteries. We'll open this up, make sure we have batteries oriented the correct way. Number one, uh, this is number two. Right, that's our batteries in place. Uh, we put the battery cover on. Final one is our screen. Yes, the display glass. So let's get it out of its and that's the way it goes in. Right, let's just get the protective layer off. Let's try powering on and seeing how we go. So hold down the power button. And there we have details on the screen. We're booted straight into PicoMite MM Basic version 5.09. We have the PicoCalc fully operational. So as you've seen from this video, putting it together is not that difficult. What we'll cover in the next video is what you can actually do with a unit. 
But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.